We on? It's Wednesday night. We're coming to you live from the under-resourced studios of Old TV in Drizzly Old Auckland City. So sit back, crack a fat for Side Rub TV. And here's your host for the evening. Now with more column inches than cock inches, he's your favorite over-gesticulating Old TV presenter and the drunkest person at your party, Mr. X! Thank you. We'd like to start the segment off here with a, a bit of a reference to Mr. X. And apparently, as of last week, we uh, have already started this sort of weird sort of media war we're having with some particular sort of hairdresser types that we um, uh, have uh, apparently, like, you know, I mean, they invite us along and let us to do things, and sometimes it doesn't work out so well. Here we are once again, and we've got something else to say about that, about, about town, actually. Now, I don't want to make mountains out of this mole's hill, but um, Bridget Saunders actually uh, put us in this, uh, this, uh, <laughs> this week again um, in regards to some celebrity fashion uh, show that we talked about a little bit last week. And uh, here we go. If we go, it seems, it seems we're making a habit of this, everyone, like getting in the what's not hot column, you know? And, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice one, eh? Pretty good. So here we are, and we got, um, we, if we talk it here, we like go down here, we got, they've got hit and miss, and they've got some good things that go on, they call them hits, and the miss is uh, Mr. X using the event as a star turn, and then adding to the fucking uh, insult by swearing and making fucking bad jokes. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. I would uh, actually like to take this time, this opportunity, and it uh, is a great honor of mine, and probably of all of ours, to present this certificate of achievement to Mr. X. It says on here, for outstanding achievement in supporting the futile life of the gossip columnist. Oh, thanks very much. Here we go, everyone, yeah. Yeah, okay. And we also got you this bottle of wine as well. Oh, thanks very much, all right. Here you go. Well, that's, that's, that's Congratulations, really sort of cheered me up. I mean, Oh, well, you just make sure you pull that in handy later on, because, you know, you've got busy work to do, monitoring Ling Ring's calls and all. All right, so that's good, isn't it? All right, well, I guess we'll get on with the show. I guess we've got to introduce you to what's happening tonight. We've got a lot on, and um, without further ado, let's uh, see what's happening tonight. On the show tonight, here's Ling Ling, everybody. Let's have a little introduction now. Ling Ling, oh, what, what, yes, what have you got in store with us tonight? Uh, about uh, uh, people do uh, something, forget something, brain no switch on, switch off! Switch off? Brain switch off, you know, forget uh, something, forget, you know, Sh lose things, brain off. So please, ring ring, ling ling, thank you. So we're talking about that probably, what, 20 minutes later, you should get, there's the number there, get, in, get involved yeah. and uh, ring ring. Oh, nine, 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 just uh, special number. You should know by now. They should know oh, by now. Yes. Ling Ling will sort out all your problems. So there, there Ling Ling, everybody. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, nice there. Um, right. Also, here we go. It's Al Graffito. Hello, Al Graffito. How are you tonight? You're looking spectacular. Yeah, you've... <laughs> Oh, you know, you've got the same thing you were, I think, what, was that from Hamilton or was that from a Wellington design? I'm not quite sure anymore. Yep. Yep, yep, and isn't he looking spectacular? Woo! <laughs> Al <Alberto>, everybody, great. <laughs> Here we are, it's, uh, it's your favourite, it's your favourite weather presenter, he tells you all you need to know. He um, gets involved with uh, sort of uh, social commentary, probably a bit more than he's uh, involved, allowed to, but we'll let him do that. What, what do you got on the show tonight? What's my name? Flash McAndrew! Oh, Thank you, Mark. Mr. X. Sorry, Mr. X. I'm going to talk about all sorts of things, especially the weather, because there's a big storm coming in there, apparently. I don't can care, really, but I'm going to talk about that. <gasps> Mr. Flash McAndrew! Now, without further ado, we actually have a very special honour this evening. We have a very nice band going to play, and they're going to play us out tonight, and we're going to have a little interview with them later on. It's People, People! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. People, People. 
And what else have we got here tonight? It's uh, it's uh, the audience, everyone. Look at them. They just grow and grow like a annoying ingrown toenail, but they they love it, and we love having them here. So thank you very much. Welcome along. Yay, yay. All right, good, great. Oh, hey, wait, wait, turn around. We gotta go that way. Here we go, it's your favorite, look what I can do. It's Mr. Josh Nathan here. What have you got for us tonight? I'm gonna flick some bottle caps at some stuff. He's gonna flick some bottle caps at some stuff. Look at that, Josh, will you do me? Flick some bottle caps at some stuff. Very enthusiastic audience we got there tonight. That's pretty exciting, eh? And, and look, we actually got another guest. Uh, hello, special guest. How are you tonight? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Please introduce yourself for the audience and the viewers at home. Hi, guys. My name's Jimmy James. Ooh, ooh. Um, basically, what do you want me to say? I'm an actor. Um, I'm on a break, and I'm ready to tell you guys about what I do. He's, he's, he's pretty big stuff, this Jimmy James over here. So uh, we'll see him a bit later on. All right, so that's very exciting. We set up that there. Well, I'll uh, take it to a video. We'll come back and we'll get on with all these special guests we have there tonight and I'll uh, try and do something for you on your Wednesday evening. Thanks for staying tuned and we'll see you a bit soon, all right? <laughs> Welcome back. Here we are, it's uh, taking to that next special segment of the uh, situation where we talk to a few uh, people out there in the world doing some really amazing things. And uh, this next guest is actually, it's a big honour for us all here in the studio and you viewers at home because um, they've made, you, you might not have heard of him, you know, in your usually usual day-to-day -day life, but this person has sort of set standards in the world of acting that, that far, far ex you know, extends further than like some of the things that you, you know, bah, brr, 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 brr. Nice. but hey, well, no, not at all. Next, uh, I'd like to introduce, um, Jimmy James, he's big, he's big probably in Asia, in Malaysia and, and uh, Taiwan, been hitting the scenes as a... As a China and Japan. Most of Asia, actually. M most of Asia. Yeah. He's, um, he's, he's a, what, what, a po soap, drama actor, and um, got a huge following overseas. Probably your first introduction on New Zealand cameras, so we'd like to welcome to the stage, everyone, Jesse James. Hello. Yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy James. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy James. Jimmy James. Jimmy James. Welcome to the show. Nice to see you. Hey. How are you this evening? I'm great. It's, well. it's, it's, it's a real really pleasure to meet you. To be here. Yeah, great. It's a great audience. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're good, aren't they? Characters, yeah, know? yeah, good, good. So Little stuff I can I can learn from you guys. Teach me character work, you know. So it's great. so so what brings you here tonight, uh, Jimmy? Well, basically, I'm. I mean, truthfully, I'm just trying to raise my profile in New Zealand. <laughs> no, no. Um, I'm actually on a two-week break from filming, and so I thought I'd come home because I'm actually from New Zealand. Um, basically, just trying to get back, back down to earth, you know, interact with like normal people, you know, who aren't successful and wealthy. And it must be tough. Yeah. It must be tough. Well, it is pretty tough. Yeah, mm. it's pretty tough. So Sometimes. I mean, what I mean, we, we, you, so you're at the moment you're, you're most sort of prevalent in, in what Malaysia, Taiwan, and and rest of Asia, yeah. Yeah, yeah, most of Asia, Japan, China. Basically, this show is called, it's, it's on the tele, like on the TV over there, um, and it's Zengnao Chengwang. And, and, and what does that translate to? Hospital. Hospital. <laughs> mm. Is that is that like an ER type? Yep, program? ER, Days of Our Lives. Shortland Street. It's not Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite high drama, high pace. Yeah. Fast turnaround TV, that's when you film a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's basically... Nice yeah. Jimmy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you got some fans here, Just obviously, by the looks of the audience there. I do, yes, yeah, probably. Jimmy. Now, I guess, I guess, so, so you're big in Asia. Yeah, what, yeah. what sort of led you to that point there? You started New Zealand, you're New Zealander, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I am a New Zealander. Um, basically... At a young age, my mum realised that I had immense talent. Realised that I wasn't going to get anywhere in New Zealand because it's so small, but so lovely. Um, went to Australia, got a part on a little show called Home and Away. Home and Away, everybody! Look yeah, at that! Yeah. James. I was in a wheelchair oh. in, in, the, in the diner. Um, basically, though, I got spotted from an uh, agency in Malaysia. They flew me over to do a commercial for them. Realised I wasn't actually disabled. <laughs> So I didn't get the part, but luckily, uh, Salon picked me up and I did six months modelling before I finally auditioned for this TV show, which has pr 